This is Jeff from PlaySite. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the features available on PlaySite.com for tennis players. So once you go to the homepage, you're going to log into your PlaySite account in the top right. Assuming you've played on a smart court, you'll have a bunch of statistics and videos saved. But also you can have video that you've uploaded externally through your phone or live streamed through your phone saved to your PlaySite account as well. You'll notice above the video window you have stats, video, highlights, external video, and my videos. We'll go through each of these in separate tutorials on our YouTube account. My videos are custom clips that you create on court or through the app using the record video feature. And you can look back easily through previous sessions by clicking on the calendar in the top left. The little red circles indicate any my videos that you have saved and created within your account. So we're going to go to a previous session now and take a look there. And you can see when you click on the red icon it's going to pull up some options here. So we're scrolling through previous drills, serve practices, and much more. Everything on court that you do is organized automatically as a session. And by clicking on the green filter button to the right of sessions tab, you can easily filter if you want to look at only serve practices or matches or tournaments and much more. Here, for example, are some of the statistics and video that is created through a match. And this is a custom video that we created on the PlaySite Smart Court, clipped it and had it automatically saved and uploaded to the cloud where we are now accessing it through PlaySite.com. You can see in the top right of the video window, you can also share these clips on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and via email with the click of a button. And all of the statistics that we're about to go over are automatically analyzed, tracked, and uploaded to the cloud by the PlaySite cameras. When you play a match, you have match statistics. You can see here from double faults to unforced errors. You can look at serves, strokes, rallies, we have tutorials that go through the statistics in more detail if you're interested in that. Looking at net clearance, there's a really a lot to chew on here. You don't necessarily need to have a comprehensive understanding of every statistic every time you step onto a court, but it's great to have some benchmarks for the really important things you're working on, like serve percentages, speed, accuracy, and so on. So I mentioned the sessions filter earlier. Here's an example of how you can filter through your different sessions, looking at singles, doubles, groups, and then smart court versus other manually uploaded sessions or live stream sessions. So we'll let the video play here in full time and you can see here the PlaySite analytic cameras also, as you probably know by now, automatically track and upload every stroke hit on court. So you can see on the left the status, the time, the player who hit it, the type of stroke, the speed, and the spin in revolutions per minute of each stroke. And by expanding the list of shots, you can scroll easily, you can filter by clicking the advanced filter tab, and you can also highlight specific shots by clicking on it and then letting it play instantly in the video window. And by using the advanced filter feature, you can look at specific strokes one after another in the video window. And you can see here we've talked a bit about the advanced filter. We're going to pull it up now to show you what it looks like. So you're going to expand the shot list, click on advanced filter, and here you can toggle through strokes, serves, returns, rallies, and much more. Looking at shot outcomes, specific strokes, and really anything that you would like to filter.